guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i will be doing a review and an update of a wear and tear on this beautiful ama bb damir ibn print i got this last year sometime in august of 2020 and she is seven months old one that i got is actually made up of a new matte finish so I uh, I remember a few years ago I got one of these also in ebon print and which is more likely um, on a glossy finish but my sales associate explained that um, Louis Vuitton actually trying to update the leather the material that they used and they believe that this new finish which is matte is more durable compared to the to the one that is more likely more glossy so anyway so i have here so let me start with this chaps right here so far it is looking pretty good and also on the other side as well and the rivets the rivets is looking nice with the gold hardware let me see right here the ring it's pretty good the Toron handle the Toron handle seems like yeah it seems like I love that oh wow I put a twilly in this all the time and that's why how I managed to get this in a beautiful beautiful condition i didn't see any sort of scratches so far having this for seven months and i use this quite a bit and i didn't see any scratches on the handle like i mentioned i use a twirly on this so let me see let's take a look at right here and the toron handle if there's any um sort of glazing issues so far i didn't see any peeling at all um bubbling so far nothing at all and as you guys have noticed right here in the ring this one they had an extension for this to put your strap so yeah you could you guys have noticed that right there and that one actually it's it's really nice the hardware is still like it looks like it's very shiny and it's brand new looking at on the other side pretty much it's the same thing very lovely the stitching around the Taron handle it is beautiful wow this one is really nice so looking at the canvas since this one is a matte finish the canvas is uh, i haven't really uh buffed this with any conditioner or cleaner at all since i purchased this purse i didn't i probably no i didn't even clean it at all and yes yeah, so you guys have noticed as this is compared to the older ones they are this is more likely matte looking at the sides right here let's see if there's any corner scratches so far i didn't see anything at all and right here i got the one that's made in france it's beautiful and there's a double stitching right there very nice there were also like double stitching right there there were three beautifully done it's very tight the stitching for this beautiful piece guys very lovely and let's take a look at the bottom the bottom is absolutely immaculate look at that and then the feet the four feet i didn't see much wear in it so you guys could see for being like seven months old yeah i always lay this one in table of course because this is more likely in the darker side i'm not going to be worried about the dirt but so far the um it's holding up pretty well there's some sort of like um there's always gonna be scratches on the hardware especially on the feet because at the store of course they lay it on the table in a box or anything like there's always going to be scratches it might not be like um substantial amount but you will see some scratches around it 
But the most important thing is that it is very clean. There is no loose stitching around the corner for having it for seven months. It is beautiful. And looking at right here on the hardware as well. So pretty much, of course, you I could see some hairline scratches. It, that is expected because you close it and open it. You know, you put some pressure in it, you touch it all the time. So you would see a lot of those. But looking at, it, looking at it right now, seems like it's holding up pretty well. The hardware, there is no chipping, which is pretty nice. Very shiny. Um, I personally think I would prefer to have it more likely a brass. I'm not too keen about the, uh, the gold hardware that's shiny. Uh, that's my personal opinion. So anyway, let's take a look at the inside. Well... The inside part of this purse is, I kept them in pristine condition, obviously, because I, so you guys can, as you guys can see right here, I have the organizer. I always have an organizer in my purse. It's easy to take in and out of your stuff from the purse. And you can also keep the interior of your purse clean that's what I love look at that beautiful beautiful red interior guys it's amazing wow so la a few years ago I got one of these and I have to be honest guy I am, guys I am not crazy about the Damir Ibn print so it's not my favorite but I was thinking I got rid of it I got rid of one my, my previous one and I was thinking as, as the time goes by I was thinking that my collection, my Louis Vuitton collection, wouldn't be complete without the Ibn print. So that's why I decided to get one of these last year. And I'm so excited. I was so happy that I finally got to get one in my collection. And yeah, there is a pocket right there on the inside. The inside is beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Wow. The leather. No. The red interior is amazing. So, I also have here the key belt. I didn't use this because um, I have several of this uh, in my collection. I also have this lock. I didn't use it. And also, as you guys can see, I have this, um, this strap. This one is not like adjustable, so I didn't really like it so much. So I didn't, I never used it. But I'm more likely a top handle person. So yeah, I didn't use this at all. It was just, um, so this one here, I have my old, um, yeah, I managed to keep the old Dami. Uh, this is the key bell. Yeah, this is the key bell. This is the material. The old uh, material that they use for the almas, I uh, know, not for, not just for the almas. I think particularly more on the um, cowhide, uh, more on the on the treated cowhide. So anyway, this one here is, as you guys can see, this one is shiny compared. So this is the one, is the matte finish, and this is, this one was previously um, the. This is the old version of, of the key belt that I've got. Um, this is the new ones. As you guys can see right there, you see the difference. This one is so matte, has no shine at all. And then the other one is very, very shiny. As well as, yeah, I have this as well. Uh, I have this hat stamp with the Manika Nicole. This is a lucky cat that I have, so I can compare it with this. So this one is more shiny and this one is matte. So yeah, that's just the difference between the matte finish. So yeah, that's what they said. That everything right now, they have already been replaced by the matte finish. It's because they are much more durable. So this one, I have this um, Manika Nicole for so many years and I got this one replaced or regla not reglazed like the, the foil right here I have this one replaced several times because for some reason they they started to chip in for after after a year so so yeah maybe because of it's shiny so 
that's why it wouldn't really stick but well regardless it is beautiful i could always go back and have this one um stamp again and change it but yeah it is it is so beautiful so yeah definitely i mean i am totally blown away with the condition of my dummy ibn ama bb and i was very very excited and very well pleased that it's in like still like brand new condition very very beautiful and i still look at this chaps right there those beautiful double stitchings are so pretty very nice just love it love it um yeah the one thing that i love about this print the dummy bin it's because it's a carefree bag you don't need to to baby it but i do baby my purses regardless whether they're louis vuitton or not whether they're light or dark or yeah i took care of them so in a way that is just my short review on this beautiful piece i would highly recommend it it's beautiful it's amazing definitely a great addition to my collection so that's it for today guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye